All right, testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. Hopefully this thing is working now. Looks like it might be fully up. Let's see. For some reason, I'm not seeing it myself. <laughs> um, crap. Don't tell me this thing is not working. If it's not working this time, I'm going to just... Just go back to the way I've been doing it. So you guys, you can see me. What's going on, man? Hold on. All right, let's go back in here and see if this thing is... Why is it not showing anything, though? Can you guys see something on yours? Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Yo, I've been trying to get this thing working, man. Um, I, I really, I don't know. I don't know if I made the right decision to go with this Google, you know, meet stuff or whatever. Um, but hold on one second. Let's see. Just give me one second, guys. I'm trying to get something going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So salute to all you guys that's here. Let me let me start off with that. You know, what's up, uh, Gillamo? Uh, Morrison, what's up, bro? Thanks for letting me know it's working. Uh, Bob, uh, what's up, man? How you doing? He says, I'm, I'm trying to apply overseas and I have more results than the U.S. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, now, with overseas work, well, I don't know if you're looking at getting um, into um, DOD contracting or something like that. Yeah. Just make sure you got that security clearance. You know what I'm saying? So, Savage Scientist, I see you in the building. What's up, man? Uh, Tech RX, what's up, man? Uh, Taz, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Salute. You know, good to see you, bro. You could definitely get into it without a degree. Good topic. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, let me see who else. Uh, Rastas, Re Realities. What's up, bro? Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thanks for telling everybody to hit the like button. I appreciate it. Um, so let's uh, let me make sure this thing is right on my side because I'm trying to I'm trying to share something. So, um, and I also want to make sure my uh, my video is right. Let me see. Whoa, what happened? It bl blurred the background. It's all good though. Hold on, let's see. Um, and I also invited a couple people. Uh, so you got if you guys are out there, Professor Black Ops, uh, I sent you guys the link or whatever. So yeah, y'all can come up if y'all want to or whatever. Uh so uh let me pull this up right fast. So what I'm what I want to cover. And this is actually not the right thing. So one of the things I've done with my live streams, I've always talked about, you know, how you can get into that. Well, I've always asked that question, especially to a lot of the people that I've interviewed in the, in the past. You know what I'm saying? I've always asked, do you need do you need a degree or certifications in order to get into the IT field? And it's been kind of like down the line. It mostly. It's mostly been, oh, you could just get certifications and get in. And that's something that I agree with. And that's something that I've told told a lot of people in the past. I've I've went through and and said, hey, I mean, in order to get into this field, all you gotta do is get a couple of certifications and you'll be good to go or whatever. And it all depends on what area of IT you want to get into. You just get those certifications or focus in on those certifications. Uh, then you can get into the field. Well. The um the problem with that a little bit is and and I'm kind of I don't know uh, fighting with myself on my stance because I was looking at the um, labor statistics that are out there the U.S. Department of Labor statistics and I came across the amount of the amount of numbers of people that are actually working in the field and 
I see that a lot more people in the field have degrees. So I'm still like on that fence and I kind of want to look at that today. You know what I'm saying? And uh, look at that with you guys or whatever. And just give me your thoughts on, you know, <laughs> on what you think. You know what I'm saying? I, I Like, I, I still believe that you could just get those certifications. But these numbers tell a somewhat of a different story. You know what I'm saying? So I want to check myself, you know what I'm saying? And 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 just try to see if I'm if I'm putting out the right information. I don't want to be putting out the wrong information. And I want to look at these numbers with you guys to see what you guys thoughts are. Uh, and you can give me feedback. And and I put I put them all together. And actually, let me just cover this article first. Now, this is on Career Korma. I've used this site before in the past. It says, uh, and this is typically what you see throughout the industry. You'll see a whole bunch of articles that cover this that basically say, oh, you don't need a degree. You know what I'm saying? But is that information correct? Is it 100% correct that you should just uh, focus on those certifications and just disregard that degree altogether? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, and Professor Black Ops, I see you in the building. Go on and send that. Um, I mean, I sent you the link. I know I kind of confused it. I uh, I sent it from my other email account. Um, and I, I kind of want to get your insight on this as well as uh, I think I sent one to Gabe Bay as well. Um, but like I was looking through, and I don't know if you missed the beginning, Professor Black Ops, but I was looking through the numbers at the uh, uh, labor statistics, U.S. Department of Labor, labor statistics. And these numbers kind of paint a different story. And so I just kind of want to have a discussion on that. So um, I and you might have like two links that I sent you. Just ignore the other one. I canceled one. Just connect to that other one. It has my personal email on on the, the right one. That's the one you need to click on. It has my personal email address on it. So uh, like I said, with this article, it's typically the typical information people say. You know, you'll see this on all of them. You'll see this for Sarah. You'll see they they all have articles like this. Come to you. They have articles that basically say, oh, just get these certifications and you can get in. But I kind of want to look into it a little further. But it says getting a, getting a job in the tech industry is easier than ever with more and more hiring managers selecting candidates based on skills and experience. Now, I'm not downplaying the skills and experience. I've always said that, and I, I still agree with that. Experience trumps, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. And that's especially if you're trying to move up. You know, experience is one of those key factors that, you know, you cannot get around. You know what I'm saying? And I say, while some potential employees might prefer at least an associate's degree, you can get computer science jobs without a degree as long as you had the right skills. So I agree with that point. Uh, computer science degrees are just one way to prepare for a tech career. Uh, if you're looking to break into the field of computer science without a degree, this guy can show you how. We'll cover... Uh, how to get a CS job without a degree, what type of computer science jobs pay well, the skills you need to learn, and how to learn these skills without going. And and like I said, all these companies, they throw out their, you know, pathway into IT. They all have their own pathway, and a lot of times it it points to their certification. So, which which I understand is, is almost like marketing as well, but is that good information? You know what I'm saying? And uh, some of the people that I've interviewed uh, on some of these live streams that I've done, um, they've they've been like in the middle. Like it all depends on your financial situation as well as um, what you're actually trying to get into, obviously. But your financial situation is a big factor. Uh, college is expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, oh, you hit the link. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if you. Oh, I see you. Well, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me send to you again, uh, PBL, bro. Uh, let's see. Did I send it to you? Hold on. I swear I sent it to you. Um. And maybe, maybe it didn't come through. Hold on. Let me send another one right fast. Uh. Copy email address. 
Let's see what we got here. Professor Black Ops. Ah, add people. Why your email line in here? I don't get it. Let's see. So this my you should get it now, bro. You should get it now. And I know this is something, you know, a lot of people have talked about on their channel. Like, uh, for instance, hold on, click here to return to the video. I am here. What? See, this Google Meets, man. I might have to just go with everybody, what everybody use, which is StreamYards or possibly Zoom. I'm just trying to do it a little different or use something a little bit different. I like the interface of this. Like, I've used this in, like, meetings where... Uh, with organizations, companies, this Google Meets thing. Um, and it's worked out great, but with this whole live streaming thing, I think it's a little little bit different, you know what I'm saying? Don't work too well, but whatever, let's get into it. So um, a high school diploma is often enough to satisf satisfy entry level jobs. And let me admit Professor Black Ops. Uh, did, it, did it let you in? Hold on, let's see. There you go. There you go, my man. What's happening, bro? <laughs> What's up, man? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I got you. My bad. My bad. You good. <laughs> What's happening, man? No, nah, man. I think two things can be true, man. I think what you're saying is correct, but like you said, I think there's a ton of pathways. I think it's easier if you have a degree, right? Because a lot of times HR, because when you apply for a job, you could be competing against people. If I yeah. got a master, you got a cert, and I got a master and a cert, I'm going to trump you. But the last employer I left, I was like, let's start taking certs because the old guys, they want you to have a degree because they had a degree. Mm -hmm. So we actually brought a younger guy in with some certs. So I think people need to push it. But I think what you said, for me, both of those are true. I like degrees because I got one. But sometimes, especially now, college is so expensive. When I went, it was a yeah. lot cheaper, man. I got my degree in 1990, man, my bachelor's. Mm -hmm. It's such so much more expensive. So I tell people, get your cert, get in the door. Then your your employer, most of the times, they get a tax write off, so they pay you to go to community college at night. My yep. boss was actually let people do an hour doing work to work on their stuff. So I think to me, that's the blueprint. Get the cert, get in there, and have your employer pay for your degree. I know a lot of people. Okay. The degree is not for everybody, right? Because, you know, I look back, why do I have to take psychology? Why do I have to take sociology? I could take the area of a tornado, man. I've never used that in real life. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. go ahead, man. I'll let you jump in there. But that's, nah, that's you good. That's my nah, you good. Yeah, and that, and that's why I wanted to bring this back up because, like, I started seeing, I don't know, especially when I went to this labor of uh, statistics mm -hmm. uh, data, this U.S. Bureau of Labor, this statistics Um the numbers just, and I'm gonna get to the numbers in a second, mm -hmm. but those numbers just kind of threw me for a loop once I started looking at them. And it, it even got me to the point where I extracted all the data, put it in an Excel spreadsheet, and was going through the uh, percentages mm -hmm. of people that work in the field. And I know that information is behind because it said 2018 to 2019, that's the last time they gathered that information. Um, and so those percentages, I don't know. It threw me for a loop. But yeah, I agree with you. What you said, like it, it, it kind of depends on, you know, uh, uh, well, well, you, you're right. Getting getting a job to pay for your, yeah, that's for the your degree is the is the move. It definitely yeah. is. But like, know, that's, real quick. But if you want to go to school and step and, you know, Kappa, get connections. Yeah. But most people are not doing that. And real quick, those numbers are those percentages are gonna be skewed, Josh, because the uh Bambi boomers are looking for people with degrees. So because you gotta think when the search really get hot the last five years. So hell, yeah. you got 40 years of people getting a degree. Search really just got hot the next the for me the last five years. So I think those numbers are gonna be a little skewed because once again, I think search just got hot hot and people are less start finally letting those people in the door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and like right here, um, and it, you'll see this on multiple articles um, out there, like according to Statistica, around 55% of college students graduate with student loan debt. Since it is possible to get a, a job in the tech industry without a degree, college might not be for everyone. So 
I, I agree with that statement. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you still want to look at getting that degree at a later time, at least, you know, kind of like what you're saying. Yeah. But I think WGU is coming around. I think we're going to do something in the middle where you mm -hmm. get a, Well, college is actually doing it. If you look at a college, they actually have certs that combine with your regular industry certs. Like you, I'm in Indiana. Purdue is a big engineering school. They got a cyber uh, IT yeah, that's certification. Cyber. Yeah, so, I've seen so, it. so so I think people are gonna do a combination in the future. But go ahead, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think people are gonna do those college certs, which you do more tech. Because the crazy thing is, I graduated with 140 hours in mm -hmm. computer science. Only 35 of that was computer science. Especially the rest of that was trying to make me a better person. Psychology, economics. Yeah. Why do I have to pay all that, man? I don't use that shit, but that's my mm -hmm. set. Go ahead, go ahead. And <laughs> nah, and that that kind of brings up something else. I was gonna kind of cover. I was gonna look at the uh, uh, show people edX again because that's one of the things I yep. used to push a while back. Right, right. Uh, you can go into those edX programs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and get a lot of the training you need, you know, for free over there. Uh, you just have to pay for that if you want the certification or the the micro degree you have to pay at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? And you can get that once you complete the course. So um, that's a good thing to look into. But since you, since uh, let's let's just go over to the numbers. I want you, I want you to look at them, bro, right fast, and just mm -hmm. tell me what you, what your thoughts are on these numbers. I know you said baby boomers, you know, yeah. might be <laughs> hey, artists, influencing, you know, yeah, influencing these are. numbers. Yeah. Let me. Well, let me. Let me. Uh, switch and bring up this right fast um and actually let's see where i got it at windows here we go so yeah i put it in libre office so i extracted those numbers so this came out of those num out of the numbers from um from that site mm -hmm. i just added like two columns over here on the right so people can let me make sure people can see this. Is it is it showing up? You can see it, right? I can it should see it pop up. Back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can okay. I see it on the front now. Okay. Um, and why is not showing you? So has it not been showing you on the screen? Uh I think oh, it was. I don't see. Maybe it's because of how big this thing is. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Just go ahead and roll, man. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. That's cool. Um so if you look at it, uh, this, this is basically all the computer positions that I found on out that list uh, in the uh, employee metrics code. That's what they use. And then here are the numbers, you know, or the percentages uh, less than a high school uh, diploma right here. So GED, all that good stuff. Uh, high school diploma or equivalent right here. Uh, some college, no degree. Uh, and then you got associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctorate. And so I just combined the no degree, and I basically took uh, some college, no degree, and I, I combined that with everything below. And I came up with this percentage. Oh, crap. I'm about to mess it up. And I came up with the, with the percentages for that or the total percentages for that and then the people with degrees. And as you can see, the people with the degrees, they outweigh that oh, fine. by a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Well, certain areas you see computer network support specialists as 35 percent um, computer user support, which is kind of like help desk. Those help desk mm -hmm. positions, you really don't need a degree, you know, so that's about 35 percent. But a lot of these other positions, database administrator, um, a lot of the people I, and I'm assuming they pulling this from actual data of people that's working in these types of positions. I don't know how they're getting it. But <laughs> um, out surveys a lot. I've got okay, a few the they surveys. surveys and they okay. ask they ask HR of the big companies to give uh -huh. them that data too. Okay. So uh, what are your thoughts when seeing these numbers? Once again, I think the baby boomers, because you gotta think like we talked about search just really happened the last five years. So I think networking is a bit cert. Um, mm -hmm. I think programming, but the rest of those guys, they're just coming in from the from the old days where they, where they were, and they still do that. People prefer people to have degrees unless somebody really pushing it. So okay. I think those numbers are gonna be skewed till like probably another 10 years, I think they'll start kind of evening out. But I, I think their thoughts, because like once again, the last five years, search just really start really getting pushed. 
And okay. really, I just switched over because in the last probably 10 years before that, I'd be like, you have to have a degree. Yeah. So I, like I said, so I think that's why they're skewed because over the last five, and once again, I work with baby boomers and old guys. I had to fight tooth and nail. They want people with degrees. They're going to put them at the top of the stack unless you got some killer experience. But once again, you can't get hired. You can't get experience. Right. Yeah. So I think that's the catch with you. Once again, I think the baby boomers are skewing those numbers. Okay. Okay. And, and I, I can kind of see that because I mean, a lot of these younger guys probably not filling out any surveys. Right, I know right. I wasn't. Right, I know right. I, I still don't. And, and you you know this too, Josh, is both of us work in the Fed. They filling out the most surveys because they want to yeah. give that data. So I'm sure they, because when I worked for DOD, they was giving all kind of data over to the labor statistics because that's what, the you know, the government's going to work with governments. And those yeah. are some of the bigger uh, hirees in tech is the government. Man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah, this this really do it like yeah, that. That really like threw me for a loop when I was. I was like, am I telling people? Because I started questioning myself. I was like, am I telling people the wrong information just by looking at that? You know what I'm saying? And uh, you give them the right information. Once again, you just ahead of your time. I just think search is just really hitting hard the last five years. Because once again, I was on the other side for a minute. Oh, you gotta have the degrees, but. Once I looked at it, okay, I got 142 hours. 90 of that was <laughs> psychology. That's not helping me program, right? And I think, too, is the other thing is sometimes I think certs are more relevant, right? They're keeping up track. I did COBOL in 1986. Is that going to matter? Yeah, I got you. Okay. So, yeah, so I so I think that's one reason. So, yeah, I think I got my computer science degree in 1990. Does it really matter? I was doing COBOL 4 champ PL1 and Assembler. They don't even use that shit anymore, man. Mm -hmm. So, but I kept searching, you know, continuing to add to keep getting better. Uh, I laughed because you know it. I was an Oracle DBA in 1995, man. That's when I got my first certification. So, so I, yeah, so I've been doing certification because that's what they teach relevant skills that you can use today. I think me and you flipping back on a big screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this thing out, man. It's like throwing us in front of each other. Like, I I was trying to. Um, that's why I was quiet. I was like, "What is going on? Hold on, let me go to the." You want me to drop out and come back up? Mm -mm. Nah, you good. I'm. Okay. I just don't understand why it's doing that. And I never liked that at. Um, I never liked that on uh like zoom and stuff like seeing like i i think it's zoom that does that they'll it it'll, it won't have everybody on the screen yeah, i like the screen I'm, yeah yeah i'm a restream guy i, I haven't like so i did zoom i didn't like it so i went with restream yeah so everybody yeah got what they like but now nah, you just ahead of your time and i think search is the way um i think those numbers gonna go up i think two is since the boomers are controlling with X, they respect degrees more than certs. So a lot of times I think that's what the first thing they look. And a lot of times too, if, uh, if you're on Indeed or um, LinkedIn, they have mm -hmm. degrees preferred. So, you know, you got to get through that HR scan. And I think they are looking for degrees first, because a lot of times, especially now for remote jobs, it's two or 300 people applying for it. So I think they're using degrees to cut it off because they're not going to look through 300 resumes yeah yeah that's true that's true they 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 actually not they they and then they using uh artificial intelligence to go Facts. through Facts. through those resumes yeah uh, so you gotta have all of yeah you gotta have all the buzzwords in there now you ain't gonna make it to the next round mm -hmm. so you, you you ain't gonna have time to show your experience because you ain't gonna get to the next round so exactly yeah <laughs> And I apologize, man. I'm trying to figure this thing out. No, bro, that's fine. I'm gonna keep talking really while you do it. Oh, you go know, ahead. Nah, you good. But uh, once again, I think the boomers uh, generate. I think the blueprint. I think uh, my man Savage Scientist in it. I think it's WGU slash uh, Community College. Get your associate. Get your cert. Get in the door. Then, if you want to continue, I would think you continue. I will let the job pay for it. Um, and two is. Um, Actually, my when I got my master's degree, it was actually paid for a Fortune 500 insurance company. I worked for the three years. They paid for my MBA, and you know I left. So 
Um, I think search is a viable way. I just think we're finally switching over to search because the return on investment for a college degree is not it's not paying back, right? Guys are leaving with a hundred thousand dollars and they're coming out making twenty dollars an hour. Man, that that doesn't that doesn't balance. So you need to get in STEM, legal, some professional degree. So your uh bachelors will pay for itself or even associate because it's just so expensive now. You know, boomers talk about getting a degree, but when they got it, it was fifteen hundred dollars a semester, man. So your bachelor degree now is damn near a hundred thousand, especially if you stand on campus or in somebody's yard. So um yeah, fact seven scientists and two is that's how they rank you, right? Um degrees. I work with a PhD, I didn't think you could program his way out of a paper bag. So I, just because you don't have a degree doesn't mean you're the best at what you do or you're at the top notch, right? Um, your your experience is really going to help you shape you in this industry. A lot of times when you get taught in college, the way I was, when you get out of industry, they're going to show you how they want you to do it, right? They're going to show you how you need to do it. I think some of the schools are trying to get more practical, but when you do searches for practical, and OJT is definitely going to practical. Once again, me and uh, Keep Techie work in the federal space. They're definitely going to show you how they wanted to do it. They're using certain tools, certain terminology. It took me three months to figure out what everybody was saying when I went to DOD. They talk nothing but acronyms, too. You need to be able to pronounce the acronym. So, um, so but once again, um, I think search is coming up. I respect search. I have a few certs. When I'm on at a company, I try to recommend people to have certs. Facts of another degree, yeah. You can't come yeah, out with wanna, another country. Go ahead. Yeah, you want to get that that return on investment. So you want to make sure you go into the right program. Yeah. You know, that's gonna give you the 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 most, you know, for your money that you're right. putting into those degrees. The the weirdest thing in is shout out to uh Gabe and struggle security is most people I worked with in computer in computers and IT, and I've been in the game for 35 plus years. Most of them didn't have IT. I worked with a biologist that was a killer PMO. Gabe, I think, was electrical engineering. I work with a ton of electrical engineering. I'm like, dude, computer science is much easier than electrical engineering, right? So a lot of people get degrees and they don't really work <laughs> with those degrees. I worked with a lot of marketing people. I'm going to interview a, one best friend of mine. He was a biologist, but he did so much programming and doing biologies, power builder, power BI. He switched over to IT because he was making more money in IT than he did as a biologist. So the money's in IT, but you see people coming with various degrees in IT. Right now, too, with the main specialty, you know, you need accountants because you're dealing with accounting software. So a lot of guys, those uh, degrees come in as subject matter experts, right? I could take an area of a tornado, but when I programmed at a Fortune 500 insurance company, I didn't come up with those actuarial formulas. They gave them to me, right? So a lot of times you could use those other degrees to come in IT. Um, yeah, that's the same with like, um, I, I worked as a financial systems database admin. Well, it was, it was that, that whole Oracle program that this company used to, and right. for their financial data, mm -hmm. I didn't know those formulas, those yeah. accounting formulas yeah. and all that stuff. I, they just gave it to that's me and I put it in the system. Yep. That's <laughs> what I tell people. Me and somebody was talking about, but well, don't you know the formulas? I'm like, no, nah, whatever a domain specialty now i feel like i'm a little more valuable because i have an mba so when i talk to financial guys i can i know most of the formulas at a high level we can talk and get down to nitty gritty but i'm still getting the formulas for them because i don't mess them up i'm not a financial expert so yeah. especially actuary insurance those are some but they gave them to me right so people ask me well don't you know i'm like no i need to learn how to program or put the formula in there they don't give me the formula right then they're going to test it right we're going to have our testers they're going to test it double check it but now and i program for a lot of different industries when i was younger but once again i didn't i didn't come up with the formulas the speed for whatever area i was working in gave me mm -hmm. the formulas yeah yeah that's like i said i yeah that's that's some i always tell people i mean uh, uh well let me ask you this like um, I heard an argument about uh, you having a, to need to know a lot of math. No, you know, in IT. No, no and, I just and, said it. No, go ahead. I'm gonna no, I was go ahead, go ahead. Because no, you know, let, I, let's be realistic, and I tell everybody this: in computer science, I had to take calculus too. I could take it. I said this. I could take it. The area of a tornado. I never used it. 
the most complicated math I ever done. I want you for a fortune five. It's just credits and debits, which is minus and plus. I don't think I ever used a root, a square root, nothing. I didn't because I've never used it. Now, granted, if you're working from some pharmaceutical and they probably describe discover a new drug, that's probably two percent of the industry. Everybody else is just doing basic math. And like mm -hmm. I said, I worked with accounting firms. I did a lot of accounting firms for the government. I did actuary. And once again, when you've seen them, maybe I did a little trick, but I've never done anything super mathematic work. Even when they came up with the formula, once again, I've never done anything super, super mathematic that, you know, rolling it up, do some group by, do some sum buys, do some breaks for some accounting stuff. Yeah, that's, that's now, the most math I've ever done. Now, that's something I'm, I'm glad Tech uh, or X and shout out to you, man. I appreciate you coming through Tech or X. Um, basically, um, and this is something I've seen like uh, with like or in statistical data, right. uh, things like it. that. But mm -hmm. he's saying like certain math is needed in AI and but like data science. So he's correct. But AI, yeah. AI, I think that's engineering cannabis product. I think I think it changed okay. the name. I, I think, thought it was AI and me. What happened? I think it changed. It. Ask oh, me, okay, you? again, because I've been him? shot in the mouth. I guess <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked ask like it should be. Ask <laughs> is that you? But now, long story short is. That is true for artificial intelligence, but, but that's three percent of the whole IT. That's not a big number. That that is so niche. Most people aren't going to do AI and machine learning. Art man, that's so small. It's 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 tiny. Now it's hot now because of Chat GPT. But most mm -hmm. people use Chat GPT. They don't program it. So yeah. he's right. But that once again, that's probably 0.5 percent of IT of IT that's doing machine learning and, and data analytics because they're going to use our program. Right. Mm -hmm. So now he's right, but it's it's so now if you master it, you can get paid paid. So I would try to do it if you're trying to get paid paid. But for the total things, you're gonna need more networking guys, you're gonna need more DBA guys, you're gonna need more infrastructure guys. That's probably once again, it's gonna be less than two percent of the industry. Yeah, yeah. Now so, someone else, Tech or X actually asked another, you know, uh question that I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to to look at but he says uh so is there a correlation to those high paying jobs you know to degrees that we see out there so people with degrees are more likely to have the high paying tech jobs yeah but once again i think the boomers are pushing that right now but yeah, okay because let's let's think about yeah because that does go back to the numbers we we're talking about hey. But two, especially if you're doing artificial intelligence, that you probably will want them guys to have a degree because that's so niche, right? You just mm -hmm. say pick it up. Oh, yeah, you got the AI search you hired. No, they ain't doing that right. They but they actually probably looking for a lot of people to have PhDs in that, right? That's on a whole nother level program. I'm sure you get some middle, but when you talk about those guys making seven hundred thousand, they're looking for PhDs to do that stuff, man. So that once again, hopefully that's engineering cannabis. He probably it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. So yeah. well, that's my take on. I think those are higher level. He's right because they're doing higher level programming. But once again, you talking about less than two percent of the industry that even touch it. I'm going less than one that's doing that high level stuff of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Because especially us, most people don't even know what that is. We know what it is because we've seen it on a matrix. But in real life, how do you do it and what jobs you do to that? Super small, super small. Yeah, and and if anybody else want to come up and and have a conversation i'm gonna share the link in the chat uh especially you know for you um engineering cannabis you can come up and uh savage scientists if you want to come up as well and what's up earl owens i see you in the building bro um shout out to you man i appreciate you if you want to come up as well you can man i don't you know i don't care let me uh send out the link yeah real quick while you're doing go that, ahead yeah, Savage Scientist says Spain go hard on the map. I'm sure when they pay you 300000 they want you to be good. But once again, that's small, small sample, man. Spain hire a lot of people, but you talking about the whole industry, dude. That's what, 3 or 4%. And that's why those jobs are so coveted, so they can ask you for that. Once again, I interviewed with AWS. They told my ass up. They didn't ask me no math questions, though. But when they're trying to pay you, when I'm trying to get 370, I need to know a little trigonometry. I I, I, mm -hmm. I, I understand that. But once again, that's a small number of savage scientists. I think that's a small number. Man. Now, granted, I'm trying to get some of that fang money in 2025, and I ain't got much long on this planet, man. I'm trying to get one of <laughs> that 400,000, man, so I could be like engineering cannabis, Tam, and Black Heights, man. I'm trying to get me a little boat like Black Heights. Shout out to Black Heights, man. 
I don't yes. play with water like that. I'm black. I don't swim well. But that's all another <laughs> subject. But nah, man, I'm trying to get it. But once again, it, uh, satisfied. I think that's a small number, man. I try to stay in the averages around the standard deviations in the middle, man. Average brother make forty two thousand, man. So let let let's you know. I'm trying to stay in the the, the realistic part of uh, it. So that's what I'm calling it. Yeah, and then going back back to these numbers, you can kind of kind of see, you know, it's not including like those AI type positions uh, or anything they, like that. It just says, rare. yeah, I, I'm assuming they're under this computer occupations, all other, you right. know, right up in there. So yeah, yeah super small, man, super small. Um, Cause shout out to uh, engineer Kelly. You talking about quants guys making programs that buy and sell stock on behavior analysis and uh, man, super small, man. <laughs> <laughs> super small, man, super small, but I'm trying yeah. to get there. So, you know, I'm just trying to get some people in the uh, CNA, a couple of DBAs. You know, you make a program. Shout out to Savage. Sa get your C sharp and your job up. You can make 100000 But shout out to uh, Black Heights and Tam. They said 100000 ain't no money no more, man. They hurt my little feelings, man. I, I know, right? I, I don't know what they're saying. Time I, every time I hear them say that, man, I'll be like, oh, man. Yeah. man. <laughs> they right, but I'm like, yeah. man. But let's be real, only 6% of brothers make 100000 man. Yeah. So how can you say that, man? Mm -hmm. I mean, Black Heights was going at it with respect. I love Black Heights. I'm like, you can't say that when only 6% of brothers make 100000 man. Yeah. It ain't like it's a big number. Yeah. But now, nah, shout out to him. He be showing his W-2s, man. He be making that real money, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he so, be no, getting that over there, man. But, but you got to show a little love to the 100K guys, man. You can't step mm -hmm. on us like that, man. Shout out to us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so, hold on. It was something else I saw. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling back there, too, too, picking up a few. I was able to get my foot in the door with an associate's degree, but I always think having managerial experience and 14 years of customer service experience help too. Yes, it does. And those transferable skills mm -hmm. is really what, you, you know, was more important. I think a little bit more important than that associate's degree. The associate's degree help because they know you can store something and finish it, you know, things like that, you know, that come with having an associate's degree or a degree in general. Uh, but, um, you know, that that experience, you know, probably is what helps you a lot more as well. Yeah, and soft skills. Yeah, yeah soft, soft skills. skills. We need soft skills, especially when you start out, you know, on help desk because you just can't be cussing people out hanging up on them. You got to have some soft skills, especially in IT. I work with a lot of brilliant people with no social skills. So I, that definitely, definitely helps um, in, in that realm. So I would like to keep you taking said All your life experiences can help in IT and help you get in the door. The problem is a lot of times when you get gatekeeping and people get your resume, we know HR is looking for certain words that you that won't get you to the second level. And I mm -hmm. tell a lot of people this and keep the techie knows this is most of the job half the jobs posted are filled because they have to post them to the public. A lot of times they already know who they want to hire. When you read it and you start seeing super specific stuff, yeah. that, that's that's meant for somebody else. So I think a lot of people don't realize is um, most of those jobs are filled and they do it on purpose. I had a guy, I, he wanted me on there. I said, what if somebody better than me come? He goes, I'll take it off indeed and put it back and wait for you to apply. So they play all kinds of <laughs> games with it. So you just got to know that don't get discouraged when you get a lot of dings, especially when you're going for remote jobs because those are coveted. So um, just yeah. keep grinding and work on your search, work on your skills. But the more experienced search degrees have, that's going to make you uh, come up higher on the list and you're going to do better because it's a competition now, people. It's more than one job. It's a competition, man. You got too many names, engineering cannabis. Now I'm just playing. What's up? <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Man, what's up, man? I knew that was you. Yeah, you, sir. But let's keep it 100. Uh -oh. You can you hear me? I can. Yeah. Go ahead. You, the degree and um, search. You feel there's a ceiling. Let's keep it 100 with the search. Mm -hmm. There is a ceiling with the search. You even said it. Netflix Netflix posts a job of a 900k to 1.2 million. Do you think they're gonna employ someone without a degree to get that 1.25 million dollar job? I'm asking. 
No, you gonna need a PhD, damn it. Go ahead. They didn't, they didn't even actual PhD, just actual bachelor's. But you have okay. to understand machine learning and AI and all that stuff. So the question is, even at normal, do you really think someone's gonna give you one point two five million dollars in salary without a degree? No. Mm -mm. Now, if you do, if you look at the data in terms of correlate between people with a degree and without a degree in tech you will see there's a ceiling in terms of the salary. You will see, because you're not going to see people with just certs. Maybe if you cluster it, you're not going to see maybe 50, the same, like 50-50, the, the amount of people with certs and with degrees are making 200K, 300K. There's going to be a ceiling with that cert. Five, five. So my question is, we know there's a ceiling. We know it's easier to get in with a degree. So why are we just pushing just search? And I, I agree, you can do search, but we should also say there's a limit. There's limitations in terms of salary, in terms of you might be a brilliant machine learning engineer, but no Netflix will not invest 1.25 million on you just because you just have certain search and you know how to program machine learning. The individual who probably doesn't have that much experience will get that job because he has a bachelor's degree. Is it fair? No, it's the world. That's what we live in. Your goal at this point, at this point is to make sure you have your best foot forward and go in there. And PBO, I agree with you. Machine learning is difficult. It's, we don't need a lot of math, but now we have, we're in the era of AI and all that, and we're in the area of big data. And we're, we're in the area of people using that and using that at an advantage and disadvantage to us because we don't understand math. So that's a problem. If, hey, in tech, we don't need to understand math, but this company uh, is investing a lot of money in quants so right. they can know that Florida, you can predict that the the... You know, they, predict, they predicted because, you know, the stuff happened in Florida with insurance is because of global warming. You know, there were banks that predicted that this would happen and they pulled money out of that. Right. We, as black individuals, we don't have that insight. We're not going to, we're afraid of math so much. If we knew that insight, don't you think we could know where we invest? This is what asset managers do. They take right. math and make money out of it. But we are so afraid of math that we we we're afraid of going to places where they use heavy math. And then these maths are yes, are it's not that difficult. Data analysts, you just need a basic understanding of statistics, mean, median, mode, right. standard deviation, and they can, Walmart can pay you one hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. And this job has been open since April. One hundred sixty-six k just to learn basic math, and we're afraid of doing all that. So I agree, degrees, certs, and all that, it's all fun, but we need to understand that if we want to get further, we need to invest in things that are hard. A, nah, degree, you... a degree is hard, but again, we need to invest in it. Math is hard, but we need to invest in it. So now nah, you're right. I was taking a baby step. Can we let's get them in the door first, engineering candidates, before we start giving them stacks, man? Let's get them in the room first. Yeah, but, we, not, we, but the problem is if what, <laughs> we, as the more as we're falling behind, the more it's progressing, we're falling behind more and oh, more. Facts, I agree with you. Hey. I, go ahead, Savage. What you got? Hey, man? um, I see my government name popping up on the screen. Change that's okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, man, this, man, this, man, hey, speaking of math. Trying to figure out how to change my name from in this thing, man. I, I do see where Josh coming from, man. You know, they got some things that need to be simple, but Google is known as the company that that overcomplicates simple things and take away anything simple. Like yeah. stream yards. I mean, remember how great hangouts used to be? Yeah, yeah. And, and then they even come with this, with this cluster F. <laughs> so I'm gonna hey. Hey Josh, I I give you two salutes, general style salutes with this one, man, because, man. Because this, for being brave enough to test this, if I try something like this on my stream, I get clowned. Because it'll be <laughs> all good. jacked up. But yeah, um, I I remember what uh, I was just listening to um, Engineering Cannabis, and I think he's one hundred percent right when he when he was saying 
we as a, a people, as a nation of the black, I, and, I, and I hate to even bring race up into this thing, but when we look at our race, I mean, I could, I could, I, I told a girl this yesterday, what would you rather, a, a C++ book or some tabloids? Man. We already know the solution. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. You yeah, gotta ask I wanna hey, I wanna find out what happened to Jamie Fox. Facts, man. Be like, hey, them bills sitting up there piling up. Them bills don't care about what you know about Jamie Fox, but I'm but that that's you know, and, and you know that that's almost everybody, but you know, everybody got their chance to be nosy and be into tabloids and all that stuff, but it just seemed like us as black folks. We put more emphasis on stuff that doesn't matter and then get mad and complain whenever whenever we can't find good jobs. And but, that's not everyone. I grew up in the hood too, so no, nah, but thing. but too though, I think some of that's promotion and marketing, right? We were talking about if you look yes. at um any of the movies, uh shout out to Rush Hour, shout out to uh Martin Lawrence, all the nerds look nerdy. How job Sally six nine with bottle glasses on, man. So when you look at um, yeah tech guys, we look bad, man. What's the one with Kevin Hart and him? The Asian guy had the black girlfriend. They beat him up, took her. She was in a rat outfit. So the promotion of that, and so and it, and when you talk about trophies, you don't get trophies for the spelling bee. You don't get trophy for about robotics. But if you six, if you can hoop in the sixth grade, everybody loves you. We pat you on the back. You're gonna be the next LeBron James. LeBron James is six nine and two fifty, man. Statistically, as engineering cannabis says, your genetics, your daddy's five seven. You ain't gonna be that damn tall. But but that's what we promote, man. I talk to little kids. I'm like, dude, I know your daddy. Your daddy fat and your mama fat. You ain't going to the NFL, man. Get on these books. If you study these books every day, I can make you a DBA. In four in, a, in an easy three years before you graduate high school, you can make a hundred thousand when you graduate high school. Now I want to go shoot a basketball for eight hours. I'm like, dude, just give tech one hour that. Go ahead, I'm gonna give it back yeah. to you, Savage. I'm on my soapbox. I'm giving it back to you, Savage. Hey, 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 hey that's box, a great soapbox. <laughs> we need yeah. we need to we need to reach out to those in the hood who think they rappers. Oh, I'm gonna be a rapper. Oh. They start making beats and stuff. They could learn beat software. <laughs> But they can't learn the computer system they installed the beat software on. It's a problem. So my question, this is one thing that um, women in Linux showed this yesterday. He showed the percentage of income in terms of 100k and all that. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised that people who made 200k are just three percent of the population. Why yes. Go ahead. It's small. Three yeah, percent. So is it? Wouldn't it be easier to get the 200k understanding AI? I mean, I know people who with oh, just nice. a basic music degree, mm -hmm. understanding basic AI, and they're making 150, 200k, and this is three percent of the population, and you can do that quickly. So we uh, now everybody so. And that's not even this is total population now if we compare just the black population oh, that's a problem way a problem that's almost so, non-existent Go so ahead. now yeah and we are arguing about degrees and not <laughs> getting it or certs and all the goal should be where can i be to get to that three percent or even get to that one percent where songs make um there was this video in salary transparent the young black girl they interviewed her, they asked her, what do you do? She said, I was software engineer, I got a computer science degree, I make 500K a year. I'm like, damn, 500K a year, software engineer. My mind is, what are you doing to get that money? My mind is in action, can I short court it and get into, do it with a cert or, my mind was, what did you do to get the 500? And 500K is 1% of the population. That yeah, that. thanks. So my question is, we are seeing tech can give you that access, but the question is, how can we get in there with all the disadvantages we might have because we're not fully represented, so we're not going to have people in higher ups that are going to help us get in there quickly. Yeah. So we're in a disadvantage. So how, how do we get there with a disadvantage in our back and make sure we can do it 
and do it where we even disadvantages in our back it's not a limiting factor you need a degree to do that so they, when they look at you because most of the time when they see me they see a big black dude like right. most of my office they don't see a big black dude i can't even tell you a story i was there's this dude that came to our office a new indian dude he came to our office and they said there was a SME coming to see you who understands AI and data. He's gonna see you, he's gonna meet you in the lobby. So I went to the lobby and I was around a lot of white folks and all that. I just sat down. This Indian dude passed me four times. And went <laughs> every white dude. Fast, fast. To the point where I just looked at him, he said, Are you Pat? I said, Yes. He was shocked. Oh, fine. Hey, I, I was I was looking at some statistics. And um, I, I, you know, I'm always looking at this type of stuff. But the the rank and file is this: the Asian man makes more than a white man, Facts. and then you have the white man, Facts. and then you have the Hispanic man, Facts. then the black man. Facts. And at one point in time, the Hispanics and the blacks were almost on the same. I mean, they were they were kind of right at the same level. Non Hispanic man done started to take a leap, a leap, and you know, it's just like the the income gap, but it's it's getting worse for us blacks, and you know, and, and I think it's partially because of this this complacency to learn complicated things. Now I, I'm no I'm no um person who studied demographics but that's just what i've been noticing i guess and, the, and this is from the numbers yeah, data I, science, there's only what less than one percent of black yeah. people in data science because i don't see yeah but i'm, I'm, I'm look, yeah he got he got the numbers right fast let me uh let me share this right fast because this is something i've oh go ahead go ahead uh, go ahead share them real quick i guess molly pushed back to uh savage and engineering cannabis I'm trying to get them into the basic stuff before we even get complicated because in basic help desk and in basic programming, before we get to the complicated stuff, you can make 80 or 90 easy before we even get to the complicated stuff. But we, PBO, we, we ain't even doing but the easy stuff rapping, yet. But PPO, if you start with the complicated stuff, it becomes easier to do the easy stuff. I, because my, even when I do when I do study, I study the hardest math fast, possible. Fast, fast. Then, my, the, 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 the math order one becomes easier. Fact, but once again, you, you and, and, and savage scientists are outliers in my pot. Well, that's why we scare them. When you push the hard stuff on them, engineering, they run into the door, man. That's why we talk. That's why I don't disagree with you, but I think you got to ease them in. Oh, yeah. you, you hit them with the hard stuff, engineering, cannabis, they run it out the door, man. But ahead, engineer, I'm throwing to it succeed to in ahead. basketball, football, any of the stuff that they consider, you know, this, you know what? I'll just say this. This shit start at home. It's oh, the parents. Pass. The parent. If they had, if they would have had great role models. I mean, even when you go to these schools, they don't push engineering, science, math, and all that stuff. They just look at who could throw a ball through a through a goal. Pass. I mean, they don't. I mean, the people. All these great, great um kids in school who play video games. Video games is the best motherfucking way. I'm, my my bad about this language, but nah, that is the. Did best way Fine. to get these kids interested in computer science Fine. start them off playing video games and be like hey have you ever thought about what it takes to make that um pokemon game and there it is nice nice a new level of interest in these kids mind that could put them off into a different path get them off oh, that nice. basketball nice. rapping nonsense but that's nah, what nah. gets out of publicity though uh, yeah, Savage, I agree with you, but we you don't see the uh the the, the computer nerd uh leaving with the homecoming queen on any movie, <laughs> so I don't disagree with nope. you. That's the question is how do we make that happen? Like, yeah, and it, it goes back to that conversation we've had about you know making IT cool, you know what I'm saying, or making or putting putting ourselves out there, you know, show showing these younger people that there is other ways to make money and get into, you know, whatever besides the rapping, the sports and all that stuff. Someone even told me why I'm not flexing. Why don't you get you the That's nice it. boring whip? 
We need you to your big ass house. I'm like, yeah, I'm we got we got a flex. We got a yeah, flex. I'm not flexing for you. you. I'm just, <laughs> just saying, man. I'm just facts, facts. facts. I'm with you, I'm but that's flexing. how you get that attention, though. Engineer, I'm saying I'm not flexing for you. You can keep that. <laughs> I'm gonna do. It's hey, not it just, necessary. Oh, they just gotta have the parents to show them that. Show them the show them reality. Yeah, just real quick. You know, so, like, nothing wrong with learning, wanting to be a basketball player, but oh, you better have a plan B. Watch some oh. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I don't know, but check out this. Check out the Zone Five Five Nine. When you old and fat and you make a lot of money, I'm seeing with some bad women. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. When you when you make three hundred thousand, you you can get a ten. That's all I'm gonna say. You you never see a rich guy with an ugly woman zone five nine five nine. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, <laughs> I'm short and fat, but I be with some bad women because my pockets are fat too. Go ahead, Josh. I'm on my soapbox. I'm gonna get out, man. Nah, <laughs> you good. Hey, so I'm flexing uh, a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> nah, let me uh let me show these numbers right fast for everybody that's out there. Um, you know, and this ties to that topic. And I know this information is employment data from 2017, so the gap might be even be be even wider now. You know, but this was 2017 to 2019. This shows that black and Hispanic professionals are underrepresented in STEM compared with uh, their share of the overall U.S. workforce. And I believe this in, this data came from uh, Pew Research. But this is all the STEM jobs. And if they broke it down, you know, and pulled out the computer science percentages. And so it's 62 percent white, 3 percent other 20% Asian, uh, 8% Hispanic, and like what you said earlier, engineering cannabis, or or was that, uh, I, I don't know, savage scientists, one of y'all said it, but we behind the Hispanics at 7% under in the oh, computer, yeah, yeah, was, computer degrees, yeah, or in computer know. science uh, positions. So we are at the bottom, we at the bottom of the totem pole at the end of the day, and um, yeah, and so you gotta you hey hey so engineering cannabis, man. You gotta you gotta uh go down get that Lambo, man, and pull it out. You know what I'm saying? On your IG. No, I'm just playing. Why is a Bentley more why is a Bentley more of a status to show you hey? If you can if you can get if you can go in the tech, you can get a Bentley. That's not a status. That's that's just something. You, look, we got to get these rappers to change their lyrics. All I can, all I'll say uh, is, if you can, if you can get, if you get into tech first, you can live a good life. That's good. Yeah. But if you, yeah, I'm not, I'm not at a hundred thousand yet either. If you want, I'm getting, I'm getting close though. But if you want to, yeah, but if you want to excel, get to the point where you can go and get you. Uh, mortgage of a one million dollars and not basically squirm or like okay that's fine i'll get me a house that's cool and not and you, you and you're not afraid of a job laying you off because i can tell you right now jobs i have i have jobs i have applications that i've done i have like five or four job offers that i haven't i don't even want but they pay a really high amount but I'm not afraid of losing a job. I'm not afraid of my boss coming to me and saying, hey, we're going to let you go because I know what less than 2% of tech people know. I know machine learning, AI, deep learning. I understand how to build chat, chat GBT behind. I know what, what how it runs. I know how object detection works. I know all these. I don't know how neural networks work. I know behind this. And I'm not afraid of saying, hey, I'm tired of this job. Two weeks later, I can get another job. I'm not afraid of saying that because I know what the dedication of math is, how quants can can go from one bank to another, and they, they get paid 600 k and they don't flinch, and they still have a new uh, apartment in New York overseeing Manhattan and laughing, and they're just, what, 30, 29? And I'm looking, I'm like, why can't this be someone I know? Someone who, who I can say, hey, because I've mentored somebody in math and after they just a day, they said they can't do this. They're going to tech sales. I said, just a day of math? You running? 
Math be scaring them, engineering. Go ahead. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Math, man. That's why I was telling you, engineering. Math be scaring them, man. They run it to the door. Go ahead. But man. if okay. Matt, if Matt can give you 600k, won't you do it? No, nah, because most people don't really. think they're gonna be successful, man. Yeah, it, it, you, man, it's easy for you to a say. A lot of people you're doubt themselves. They doubt themselves. I can tell you, I can tell you one person, or uh, uh, one group of people who I know would probably do it. And I hate to bring up this bad stereotype, but see, see them people in jail where they don't have nothing else to do. If you tell them you have to learn differential equations mm. and how to program in assembly language. And do 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 machine language in assembly language, and they could they could beat their life sentence yep. and just get a real job. I bet yep. they'll learn because they don't have but because they they have a lot at stakes. Whenever when, when we walking around this free world, we could we we have we have a lot of choices on what we're gonna do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But they have they have the key is in someone else's hands. So learning all that stuff, oh yeah. Yeah, they, they're probably learning in two years. No, hey, man. so engineering cannabis, uh, mm -hmm. right fast. So, um, what what you think about this, folks? Then oh, in a Lambo. <laughs> see, he see I, if I'm gonna do this, he used this. You know, he's not making millions now. He probably because he has a business. Yeah, he has now. He even did a resume, so he's making millions based on that. Yeah. He not even I, he don't even have to work and take. He don't have to walk no more. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if I'm gonna do this, fine. But do I really need to do this? Do I really need to stunt in a Lambo to tell you, hey, or BMW <laughs> on brand new M5, M6 BMW? Why? Why can't I tell you? Look, you understand math? You can make 200k. Here's receipt. You understand math? You can make 250k. Live in an eight hundred thousand dollar house, and have your kids go to a school that you're not worried about. Facts. Why can't that be a motivation that you can stay yeah, in, the, and see, in the neighborhood you don't get shot at or nobody going to break into and take your Amazon packages? Why is and see, I agree with you there, uh, Engineering Cannabis, because like um, it, it, I, I kind of sit on the fence, bro. Like, I want to show these people what you could do, but at the same time, it's like mm -mm. okay, you you could be putting yourself out there too much, you know, because right. there's a lot of people out there that's people going <laughs> people, again. When I saw the stat that three percent make this at that point, I'm like, nah, I'm not doing all what I'm I was Bias. intended to do. When I saw that, I said, then someone's gonna come in and say, you either bragging or you're yeah. lying or you know all this stuff. That I'm like, I'm not doing all or that. scamming or something. You're scamming. Bias, Bias, yeah. Why are you scamming? <laughs> you're not making. You probably. You probably chilling in your mama basement lying as hell. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, they gonna yeah, hate on you. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna be like that. I'd rather tell you, I'd rather give you a facade and say, hey, I'm like right now. I I tell people I drive Uber at night. I'm 40. I don't have this. I'm trying to make 100k, and I'm All gonna right. try to prove that. But you can make 100k a, on Uber too. Yeah, no, with trying to get into tech, all that stuff. But rather than telling someone, look, I'm a mathematician. I understand math backwards and forwards. I can do all this, and I can make 300K easy. But that's not, that's not, uh, that's not, that attention is not what drawing people in. Saying, I can tell you everything about math. I can tell you everything about quantitative analysis. I can tell you everything you need to know about time series equations. Thanks. But that's not sexy enough. No. And see, what's this sexy, is what I was. What's sexy mm -hmm. is I'm a 40 year Uber driver who drives Uber at night. I'm trying to get into tech. That's more sexy. Yeah. And, and, get this, That's it. and this was one of the other things I meant to say um, as a, a reason why I agree with what she's saying. It's like other, you know, demographics, they don't need motivation like that. They don't need to see. These people, well, as far as I know, from the oh outside God, looking God. in, I don't, I, I don't see them, you know, like stunting and showing, you know, cars and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They just telling people, hey, this is a viable option. Right. This is something you can do in order to put yourself in a better situation. You know what I'm saying? And they you only gotta, their qualifications, and that's it. They say, yeah. look, I did, I have a bachelor's in this, this. I can teach you how I got from here to here with this amount of time. And that's it. 
But mm-hmm. we can do that. We have to present another persona of ourselves. Someone who flashes, got rings, diamonds. I'm wearing a Rolex, and I'm, I'm, I'm I got a, a five thousand dollar Armani suit on, and I'm I'm driving a Lambo. And you can roll with that too if you roll in, if you roll in tech. That's what's more appealing. Now a guy wearing a t-shirt, sitting down in a kitchen and telling you, "Hey, I know these 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 are the paths of tech. I did this, this, this. You can do it too." But that's not appealing. That's not what's so. So, it's the appealing side is either negative or positive. Either you show a Lambo or you show the negative side. Meaning, I started out from the mud and I went from here. That's right. what that dude right. did. So it's either po- I'm learning a lot of marketing techniques. You either do it negative yeah. or you do positive. Either you go out, Lambo, do this, do this, extravagant. Or you say, I'm getting out of the mud. I don't have nothing. I'm staying in my mama basement. I'm doing this, doing this. <laughs> and then by the grace of God and by all the skin and the teeth, I've made a hundred K. Those are the two scenarios you can give to our community. Without those two scenarios, you can't meet in the middle. Those are the only two scenarios. And again, you can't come out and say, hey, I have a bachelor's and an MBA. I've worked in this field 10 years. I understand this aspect. I understand this. I have connections. This is the pathway. That doesn't exist. Either you do it from the mud or you do it on the Lambo. That's the only way you can talk to people who want to do it. And I'm learning. I'm learning. Now, facts. Uh, real quick. Thanks. Go ahead, Josh, go ahead, Clint. If you will. Uh, Clint JW, if you scroll up like a couple rows, he said, "Hey, PVO, what what are the odds that many would be making one hundred and fifty k compared to a good living on pay of like seventy five k? Is it bad to promote having this life over being stuck in a lesser life?" And you are correct, Clint JW, but it's it what engineering cannabis says. If you tell the average young black person 75, they're going to tell you your ass is broke. <laughs> so you got to kind of hype it up to get their attention. But you know, you're right, Clint. Mm-hmm. I think you got to start. You got to get 75 before you get to 150. You got to get to 150 before you get to 400, 400 to five. But I think a lot of people like engineering cannabis says, if I just says I can get you making 75 for help desk, they'd be like, oh, that's only $32 an hour. You're starving. You don't have the Lambo. Where's your big house? You ain't even got no jewelry, and you fat. So that's why we do it like that, Clint. Um, I'm old. I know what the actual statistics are for these people. A lot of people ain't make 75. The average man makes $52,000 a year, black yep. or white. So if you make a 75, you're really killing the game. But like engineering cannabis, if I promote that, little kids will laugh me off of YouTube, right? So trying yeah, to figure out a way to, to go that's ahead. On, you can make 150. Well, I know my parents... Uh, here struggling, my mama cooking fish fry to make some extra money. My dad here hustling, hustling, and at the end of the day, they still can't make seventy five k. And you gonna tell me one job, you gonna give me one hundred fifty k, and I'm gonna be chilling and get me what I need to get? I'm not seeing it. But when, but well, that's the problem. Do I need to show you all that? I don't. I don't want to show nobody all that. I don't want to show you a two hundred k. What you can do with I'm not showing you all that. I'll tell you how to do it, but I'm not going to expose my life to you um, to do all that. No, you can get robbed. You get robbed in real life. Go ahead. You get robbed in real life, man. Yeah, but how would how would how how do we promote though? See, that goes back to to the promotion part of it. How do we promote that this is a viable option if people don't see anything? You well, don't say it at all. I, I, I the think, other groups from I, I, yep. no, I, yep. I think, like y'all say, but I think it's finally coming around because tech is like super hot. I think it's over hot now. We're getting a lot of people with courses that are scamming, and I don't think they're going to do it. Well, so yeah. I think we're getting over for now because everybody thinks you can get a certain make 200000 now. So I think we got <laughs> over promoting now. If you can take me. I think we kind of yeah, swing. Think- Swinging, I think we, we are ahead. promoting the simple stuff, like All not right. the simple stuff, but we're promoting. No, you can make two hundred k if you just learn tech sales, and within six months you can make two hundred k. Or you can do one hundred and fifty, and with just having two shirts and a dream, you can make two hundred fifty or one hundred fifty k. 
I'm and like, just leave all the all the other stuff out of it. Leave the other like stuff. Showing like, your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, and they'll tell you you don't need to know math. I'm like, you can do machine learning, you don't need to know math. I said, don't go. Someone even said in, in even in the comments, you can be a prompt engineer, you don't need to know math. I'm like, right. you do you know what a prompt engineer does? <laughs> right. Do you think he's just taking languages and just plugging it in? You have to statistically analyze those languages fine, fine. and compare and contrast what you're doing. I've done AI prompting. There's a lot of math. Even the interview, they ask you, well, do you know how the prompt, how ChatGPT is built or the prompt? Do you know anything about neural networks, convolutionary neural networks? Do you know anything about that? Loss functions. Do you know anything about gradient functions? They're going to ask you high level math and you think you went to an eight-hour course about prompt engineer, and they're going to give you 375K because you can put two sentences together. If you think that's going to happen, man, you really have a problem. Nobody's going to give you 375K in salary because you can put sentences together. That's just the beginning. You have to analyze those sentences, see if there's any correlation in those sentences, see, see if any efficiencies. In, there's a lot of math in it. But people, they advertise prompt engineering right now and say, you can be an artist and become a great prompt engineer. I'm like, please don't tell people that. Tell people the <laughs> truth. The truth. Don't tell okay. people a lie to sell a course. Please tell people the right. truth. The truth you don't pay, engineering cannabis. Go and ahead. You go interview <laughs> and you say you want to be a prompt engineer. They ask you, what, do you know what a neural network is? And you say, right. I just came here to just put some sentences together and get me a check. Please, hey, so check this out. one out. Go ahead. I started ahead. back in 2015. After I got fired from my job working for the state, I started working as a janitor. I remember working, cleaning up, cleaning up classrooms. I mean, I actually have this video on my YouTube. Yeah, you told me doing the up. interview. I oh, think. No, no, this, this, no, this, this, this the funny part. Okay. Check this out. I was I was cleaning up um off I mean just cleaning up uh classrooms, and uh and I said I I'm trying to I'm trying to get me a um a job working in um uh, in the IT department. I got a computer science degree, and the girl who was also a gen said, "Nigga, you don't got no computer science degree. You need to finish cleaning up these classrooms." And I told her, "Oh, so so you don't think I got a degree?" Said, all right. I just left it like that. So the moral of the story was one day I came, I came with a nice fresh haircut. And I told my boss, I'm about to start in a, um as an IT manager. Don't tell nobody. One day I one day I, I um just was gone. So eventually the, they they saw my office. They cleaned my office. And I just and I, I just love the expression on their face when they saw the same person who was laughing at me saying I have a computer science degree. Now they're cleaning my office. I went from seven dollars an hour, seven dollars and fifty cents an hour to twenty dollars an hour. And twenty dollars an hour isn't a lot of money. It's what about forty two thousand forty three thousand dollars. But in Louisiana. I'm balling. Right, right. Yeah, because I went from seven dollars to twenty-two dollars an hour. I was making it with seven dollars an hour. So why can't that be a flex? Yeah, and I and I why um, can't that be a flex? Nah, you're right, you're right. And that's that's what I was gonna bring up earlier when uh PBO read that question out I seen up at the top, uh with 75k or whatever. It depends on where you at. Okay. You could be if you in Certain uh, areas of the United States, like uh, Louisiana. You I'm know. in Indiana. I'm throwing yeah. my state out there. Indiana, yeah, you can do a lot with 75. Yes, that's a lot of money, man. <laughs> but, but granted, a lot of people know I've, I've been consulting forever. I did some work in Silicon Valley. This Asian guy was helping him do some this, do some federal stuff, blah, blah. He comes in. I'll never forget this fight 15 years ago. He says, I found a killer studio inside San Francisco. It's only four grand a month. I'm like, you got to be the stupidest shit I've ever heard. I could go to Indiana and get 40 acres with a horse for that much. Yeah. But depending <laughs> on where you at, go ahead. Keep it taking. It depends on where you at. Yeah, it, it, it really depends on where, where you at. You know what I'm saying? You can, 
you can and somebody say that ain't gonna get you no Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta right. get to 75 before you get to 100 though. Come on, Zone. Shout out to Zone 59. He trolling and showing some love at the same time. Yeah, shout out to yeah. him. Man. Shout out to Zone. Go oh, ahead. and you ain't got a wrench over here, Zone. Let me get a wrench. Bro. Don't give Zone no wrench, man. He Don't got give him a too wrench. Much right now. I'm just he got <laughs> three problems in the chat. Shout out to Zone. Yeah, we're talking about Lambo. See, that's what I'm talking about. If I come out and say I'm making this amount of amount, and I got a Lambo, they're like, how? I'm, and you in the basement right now? You sure you're not? You're not scamming and leave it? You sure you're not living? With me? So all that statement, all that. Why not just tell you, hey, I'm. I was. I was walking in Walmart making this amount of money because the tech i'm able to do this that was my story i was stacking boxes in walmart i was stacking i wasn't getting any play from new women no. and i was stacking boxes but yeah and that's one of those reasons i bring that. that's one of those reasons i bring a lot of you guys on like different people that i find or whatever because everybody got a story you know what i'm saying uh like i didn't you know i didn't know what i wanted to do you know what I'm saying? I kind of fell into a lot of the areas of IT that I got into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it was connections, you know, so it wasn't wasn't lay, it wasn't a laid out path, and everybody's mm -hmm. path is different. So uh I agree. The weirdest thing is I knew what I was gonna do when I was a freshman in high school. The crazy thing is yeah. I was just lucky, and as a kid, people are I'm sure my age. I used to watch the Super Friends, Batman, Star Trek. I just fell in love with computers. So I yeah. start my father, I made me cry. He gave me the first internet. Black people used to buy encyclopedia for those kids and make payments on them. So I took that for granted, but everybody came over to my house and did homework. So I was a junior in high school and they had a special college ed class. I took Cobalt, PL1, and Fortran and loved it. Start, I've been programming ever since. My first bag was doing being an Oracle programmer, PL SQL and Java. I made my first hundred K a decade doing that. And I've been loving IT ever since. People call me a nerd. They knock my books out, but I was rolling through the hood with my Toyota Celica with my bag phone, like the drug dealers. <laughs> then I got cute. I was rolling on. I didn't get, the I didn't, I didn't, get IT. <laughs> I didn't get into IT in 10 years ago. I, I was a chemical engineer. I was thinking I was going to work for the, in the oil fields. Oh yeah. But thanks, thanks. I was, someone introduced me to data and said, Hey, you can make killing in this. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start. And I started reading the books and one day I got it. And like, okay. And I started applying and before I know it, it were offering me all kinds of salary. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep the chemical engineering for one side. Let me just deal with this AI stuff. And that hey, was it. So speaking of speaking of um that having a degree, that is the most important reason why having a degree will put you above people with um, certifications uh, and anything but less than that. Because whenever you have a, a college degree, especially, and I mean, not just no little shit degree. I'm talking, I mean, I'm sorry for people who have shit degrees, but if you have an engineering degree or a science degree, right. then that means that you could pick up the concepts like network and subnet and how to program and how to, how to, um, how to learn stuff that's difficult like ai machine learning because you know you have to figure out the way the way to you have to figure out out the way algorithms work and you have to create new algorithms right. a lot of those algorithms for jet chat gpt are um are what they call heur heuristics right. it's based yeah, on yeah, on the way on, on formulating the correlation between i mean you already said this and, yeah these are transformers you know, these are transformers. Yeah, it's just looking at how 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 we could find a way to communicate the 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 similarities between a hundred thousand or millions of sets of data yeah. and there it is i mean so somebody had to sit down there and create an algorithm and that's difficult math yeah. I mean, I know, I know, engineering cannabis. You make it seem easy, but man, you know, but it's like a little PBO, more than, than, like than just said, I, I, You also have to look at creating an algorithm with the complexity. We got to have spatial complexity, yeah, and you got to have time complexity. Because with spatial yeah. complexity, that means you create an algorithm that's going to recursively regenerate itself, so you could fill up a, a um, a twelve terabyte drive. I mean. 
right. and, and only been went through a probably about five or six percent of that data set. Yes, there are a lot of math, but that's the thing. Like PBO said, I'm not coming here to tell people who are afraid of math tell you how to do switch from a linear equation to a more dynamic equation based on certain certain things in there. I'm not going to come here and tell people that. Nobody wants to hear that. Facts. Nobody wants to know <laughs> that. Facts. <laughs> whenever you could, when you could say it and demonstrate it on an interview, it the, the layman in the streets might not want to hear it, but whenever Facts. you go on an interview, it that might be the deterministic, I mean, that might be the thing that made it so you got the job and the person who got the 12 certifications didn't get the job. For instance, an interview I did, I recently did an interview that was paying 350K. And the interview became, because I knew the math, the interview didn't become an interview. It became, we would, we would do, it became like two friends talk, talking. We were just talking yeah. about math and equations. And like, we started laughing like we knew each other. And because of that, I already knew I got the job. Just right. because I knew concepts. I knew, okay, what problems do you have? Okay, you can solve it using this method, or you can solve it with this one, or you can prove it with this method. Just understanding that made the interview go smoother. The person wanted to give me the job immediately. Well, the person said, like, I got to interview all the people, but to be honest with you, you got the job, but I just got to interview these people real quick. Right. But that's the yeah, thing. Me. These are the stuff that's hard, but it makes interviews. It makes things go easier and processes go easier. But again, um, go ahead, keep protecting. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me get in now, right fast. I seen Ronan had asked the. Oh, I, I saw that. that. I was about to jump too. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. You okay. Want to jump on it? I was about to jump on that because he said. Yeah. Oh, quick. okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I, go ahead. Well, Ronan <laughs> asked, should he do system admin or Azure administration? My question is, you got to do both. I do AWS is my cloud, same as Azure. When you spin up infrastructure, you mm -hmm. spin up VM, you spin up EC2s, you spin up Windows. Once you spin up 200, if one of them doesn't work, you got to go to that VM and actually do system admin. Yep. Right. So I've been, I wouldn't say I'm at uh, keep it techie skills, but I'm decent at Unix. So I got a CD, I got to check the volume, I got to look at the startup script. So just because you in the cloud, when you spin up Linux or Unix, you got to be able to amend those systems because they're at Linux and Unix. Those aren't two separate things. So, yeah. but you, you people learn how to spin them up. But if something's wrong with Unix, if you don't know you learn Unix administration at a basic level, you can't fix your infrastructure. So those two actually go together. I do yeah. AWS. They got Amazon, which is a fork of Red Hat. So I got on there somewhat working. I was like, oh, this didn't get in my startup script. So my web server didn't start. But if you don't know how to basics to do PS minus EF to look at your services, or do PSOF to figure out what files are open. I'm showing my Linux skills on them. Keep it taken just a little bit. <laughs> I see but now, so you. yeah, but so you got to do both of those. Don't separate them because to be a good cloud architect, you got to get on that box and know what you're doing. Go ahead and yep. chime in on that. Uh, nah, you, you, you're you 100% right. And that's, yeah, I mean, you you basically hit all the points I was going to hit as well, man. Like, uh, that's, that's you definitely look into the cloud and you need those systems administrator, straighter, uh, you know skills as well as those azure you know administration skills as well uh so and then also just pick a cloud so right. it looks like you already on that that microsoft you know train so azure might be the way to go for you but you know don't limit yourself as well you can look into aws at a later time just focus on i would say azure right now since you kind of on that track and then you can look into aws as well that way it'll expand your skills so just constantly look into this new technology and and just figure out what's needed in order for you to move up and get into those higher roles that pay a lot more so and everybody's going up to the cloud, get there. That's going to be my last 10 year bag. So I'm an AWS biggie. That's kind of what I specialize in. So I've got a few uh, playlists with AWS, but you like you said, get in somebody's cloud. It could be AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle one part of that $9 billion uh, gig. I'm not a big Oracle cloud fan. I love the database. Pick a cloud and just get in it. I would yep. pick one of the big dogs or pick three. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Google fan, but they in the mix. Um, once again, I'll pick AWS Azure, they the big two. Get in there and pick some. You could be an engineer, a privacy engineer. There's so many engineering type jobs that, that you can do in the cloud. Once again, everybody's going to end up in the cloud in the next 10 years. Both of the, the companies I worked for in the past, I did a lot of government work. 
they're moving all their workloads to the cloud and trying to optimize them, figure them out because um, Azure and Amazon, they got all the government certifications. They got Fed, yep. Ramp, HIPAA, BERPA, whatever you need, STEMSMA, they got all those. So pick a cloud and get it, get in it because you need to get there because it's moving quick. Yeah, and you're right, PBO. Let me just say this right fast. Yes, you're right, right. PBO. Uh, AWS and probably Azure is one of those two you want to look into. Right. Um, and and not everybody agrees with me that, on this, but I think Azure is gonna, you know, gonna be up there as well. With it's gonna at least get mm -hmm. to the level of AWS because right. I'm starting to see it, and I know you seeing it, PBO, yeah. in the in the DoD. Right. You know, right. Things are starting to hey, transition man. to the cloud. Microsoft they're sleeping on you know, IBM Cloud. So, yeah, that's oh, I, just love, I just love IBM too. They yes. they the company that gave me Five. a chance, even though and and I was able to walk off the job and quit. Mm -hmm. And I moved, that's but fine. yeah. They just they, they yeah. just don't get as much pub as everybody. But two uh -huh. is, and I think shout out to women lenders. I think it's gonna be a multi cloud. I think we everybody's gonna figure out what best cloud works for them. I think yeah, the AWS had the programmers, but uh, what what Amazon, I'm not sure what a Microsoft did with Azure, they go like, oh, you got Outlook? We got that Office 365 already for you. So move those in. So I think it's going to be a multi-cloud. I'm, I'm actually going to start doing videos on making those two clouds work together. Actually using uh, Active Directory, AFDS, to authenticate and get you into AWS to do some work. So I, I really think it's going to be multi-cloud in the end. Yeah, isn't that the, like the Active Directory, um, I guess, a uh, clone on Azure. What what's yeah, the name of that? AFDS. That's what I said. Okay, A F D S. Okay. Yeah. So and do they are they able to? Because I remember learning. You, you can yeah. sync them. You can okay. Sync them I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember working. What was that? Uh, when I first learned about Active Directory, and it was talking about how you can create forests and yeah. you know yeah. and and bridge all those uh, domain controllers together under one forest with the yeah. different domains and all that stuff. And I was just wondering if AWS is uh, well, I don't know they, they if, if they can they can they work together. Connector. Yeah, they do. They got their own connector. But two is you really only want to have one source that's true. So what everybody does is your own prem syncs up the afds so when you log okay. into afds you get a token and with that token you can log into aws or google so i'm okay. actually i'm actually be kind of playing around with a lab i don't shout out to ron on son he put it in the chat afds i'm probably mangling in that but i think that's the future end so i've been trying to do labs to get with the multi-cloud but the the killer i'm switching subs real quick containers you got to get your oh, yeah, doc yeah, or your yeah, Kubernetes, Kubernetes. in. So yep. I've been trying to learn that, and I'm old. I'm 55. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm Kubernetes. trying to get my Kubernetes game. Doc and Kubernetes are hard. Yeah. Go ahead, engineer I'm, cannabis. Yeah, I'm I trying to, to get my Kubernetes up. Go ahead. I have to learn Kubernetes to in order to basically containerize my algorithm so I can transfer it to another. So no, it's difficult. But yeah, again, one other key. Oh, go ahead. It, this is the good thing is there are different ways to get in tech from. Oh, learning okay. AWS, math, or the different avenues. Right. We shouldn't be six percent, seven percent at all in any of this. Oh. We should be dominating like learning... Indian people. Go ahead. I think we need to be dominating basketball like Indians dominate IT, man. Shout out to my Indian brothers. They be coming over here, they be focusing on um IT. So I think we, we need to focus on it like that. Instead of hooping for six hours, we need to be Kubernetes for six hours. Go ahead, engineer. Go ahead, uh, savage scientists. I'm getting out of my soul. I, I was just about to say the same thing. Uh, um, that if you're gonna learn something, like everyone been saying today, pick one, go as deep as possible. Don't, don't, don't um, start off deciding that you want to learn how to code, and then soon whenever it starts getting hard, you decide, right. oh, oh, this, I'm, a, I'm about to learn networking. Soon right, you get right, the right. subnet mask and yeah. they have to convert people John facts. Convert Go those ahead. convert those subnets to bits and, and having to throw that uh that um especially that that um CIDR that's um the the subnets whenever you facts, actually right. creating uh whenever you're not using your traditional class ABCs, you have something like a slash 19 yeah. database and then I mean a, a slash 19 network, yeah, 19 bits. For your for your um network portion and then uh 19 minus 32 because my math is terrible that's your host section and be like oh right. you know oh I'm, broadcast address i don't know i'm leaving that alone some people right. just get 
they'll just walk away from the databases, networks, all everything gonna have its little difficult well, things. Well, let, let me let me confess, yeah. I did an AWS and they asked me a networking question. My network is decent. So I said, What what would you do? I said, dude, I just do a basic C, man. I just do 255, 255, 254, man. I got a thousand hosts, man. I that's all I go <laughs> with, man. I don't try to overcomplicate. He laughed, he goes, I kind of like that. I like we we got a lot of IPs. <laughs> I said, I just keep it basic. He laughing. Yeah. I go, I'm a programmer in the infrastructure. A networking sets that up. I don't do that. He goes, that's a good point. I got we got networking experts to do that. But real quick, I'm gonna switch off it. There's still a lot of non-technical jobs. We need PMO, PMO office, project management, business analysts. There's still a ton of stuff with management that's tech and not. I do a lot of NIST. I do paperwork mostly. I do uh IT auditing on systems when people set them up. So uh shout out to Keep It Tech. He set the database up. Put it on a database uh sub I gotta make it with them stigs on it. So really <laughs> I do IT auditing. They don't even let me touch computers anymore. I do mostly paperwork. And right, I make good money. And I don't I mean IT, I understand IT because I got to audit audit systems and setups and uh Azure infrastructures and AWS infrastructures. I got to use of experience, but mostly I just type up papers and say, these are your findings. Keep it tech, you got it before. This is what you <laughs> need to fix. Let me know when you got it fixed. So I'm sorry, yep. keep it tech. I'm getting out my soapbox. Yeah, I'm I'm where I'm working through. I'm I'm a helping work through one now, you know what I'm saying? So those things that's that's coming up, one of the stigs that you got coming up. So yeah, because everybody knows when you work for a big company, they end up reporting to somebody. They doing yeah. some government work, so they gotta be HIPAA, this, FISMAS, DOD. There's a ton of compliances that people have to be being compliance with pci if you're doing credit cards so that's a hidden gem i do that a little more channels compliance and that's mm -hmm. really um tech understanding something that you don't have to be deep because i expect keeping techie to do the linux stuff deep i'm gonna give him a text and if he can't do something we're gonna talk about it right he's the SME, i'm the auditor right so there's a ton yeah, of stuff and one other thing i wanted to throw in there uh with the whole container thing y'all brought up i was just oh. letting y'all go but uh also another Thing you guys want to look into especially for infrastructure and just managing a whole bunch of virtual machines is ansible ansible okay. is awesome yeah, yeah, <laughs> as far as awesome. automation yeah, updating I do, I do the yeah. aws version of ansible they got that and azure got their version but ansible's uh i database agnostic you can run it on anything but i give yep. system manager which is aws's bill so you got to learn one you got to learn some automation so you got to pick mm -hmm. one ansible is great to learn one other thing in terms of because we talked about hip hop and rap, you know now, big companies are using technology to scam rappers now with AI oh, right, and all right, that. Right. Oh, so yeah. now you got to sign. You know the contracts now is they own not they own your image and they own your voice. Right. Meaning right. they can, you don't need to sing a song for them. They can just own your voice and then have another rapper pay the person twenty dollars sing a verse and just take your your voice that they right. paid for and just superimpose on it and they own it that's what happened with the siri uh voice that's that's the contract that's the contract they're doing for rappers now we own your voice your right. likeness we don't need to own your creativity we just need to own your voice right. that's it so now yeah. your voice is now a mathematical signature right. your voice is now mathematics right. so when i say they're using technology against us. I'm laughing. You're a rapper, but you don't understand how your voice is now a mathematical signature. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's mathematics. Your voice yeah. is a mathematical signature. And now and I need that mathematical signature. Yeah. And let me speak to uh, Brian's comment. He said, Pie Man versus Docker. Um, Pie Man is essentially something that was created by Red Hat. That's their, that's their uh, container software that they created um and docker is is totally separate you know what i'm saying that's why you have to add a repository to your red hat system in order to get docker installed it's not ported there i don't I, maybe they added it into newer versions but i know at one point in order to get docker installed you had to open up one of those other repositories in order to get uh docker installed on red hat red hat want to push their own like container software which is podman podman and then also it's the same thing with ansible i think they just they just came out with something something new uh, interface that manages all 
the Ansible um, scripts that you write. You know what I'm saying? And it's something that they created specifically for Red Hat. So just just explaining it to you in the simplest form. But look into both of them. Uh, Docker is used. It's still being used. Uh, Podman, you know, not not so much, but it's Red Hat's signature, you know, containerized uh, solution. I've never even heard of Podman. I saw them like, what was that? <laughs> There's so much stuff out there. You know, they yeah. got hash. Everybody's got some kind of container or a specialized thing. But the big guys is uh, Docker and um, Kubernetes. Kubernetes seem to be overtaking Docker. I'm a Java guy, and Java guys put a lot of stuff in Docker. But Kubernetes seem to be what's super hot now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Podman is pretty much the same thing as Docker, bro. Like the commands, it's easy to transition on Podman too. Like you just run the commands instead of typing Docker pull and then the image you you type podman pull mm -hmm. and then the image that you want to pull or podman ps all those commands work the same the options okay. Okay. yeah it's just a drop in place of the name change so the other weird thing buffalo as you and aws is that they got serverless both versions of you can use eks which is uh their container version of Docker, then they got EKS in AWS. So you can set it up and they'll take care of all the infrastructure for you. So they run a serverless versions of containers that are spin up as many containers as you need and take mm -hmm. care of all that infrastructure. You just got to deploy your code or, or whatever uh, OS you want to put on there, deploy whatever app. So you can do serverless of that stuff now. So this technology's oh, yeah. changing. Everybody's got to keep up. Like you said, like everybody said, pick something and go with it, man. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to get a little hard. So, yeah. yeah. And so, hey, I'm going to go down and have to end it. But I yeah, appreciate going for all you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I appreciate all you guys coming through, you know, for this. Um, and I, like I said, I just kind of wanted to have in the beginning, I said this, I, like, I just wanted to have a conversation about. You know, if we putting out the right information, you know, and all that stuff, especially when it comes to, you know, certs versus degrees. And really, it's just to have a conversation so we can put out, um, bring our minds together and put out information to people that are interested in getting into the tech field. Because uh, things change all the time, you know what I'm saying? And just want to stay up to date with the right information to put out to you guys. But I appreciate everybody that came through, you know, uh, in the chat. Go down, hit the like button if you're just getting here, uh, or if you haven't hit it, just go down and hit it. I definitely appreciate it. If you're new here, go down and subscribe. Definitely appreciate it. And shout out to everybody uh, up here on the panel. So, Engineer Cannabis, go down and um, and uh, drop your link in the chat. I think I, I gave you a shout out last yeah, yeah, yeah. last week on yeah, uh, yeah, AI yeah. and me. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, I, I was no, like, oh man, channel. I don't know which one I, to say. Okay. So, yeah. oh, so, so, you, so you so you starting to do more coding stuff on your channel? I'm no, no, I'm not doing all that. They, they, I, I tried to do all that at first. They told me I was too professional, so no, I'm not. Doing all that. <laughs> I got no, that. I got that too. Go ahead. I'm not doing all that. I'm just doing, just showing you how to get into AI and machine learning. And yeah, tell your jobs, yeah. and I said I'm not telling you. No, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I it, that. it'd be cool. It'd be cool, uh, engineer cannabis, to if you uh, like, if I saw like a a couple of small tutorials. You ain't got to do many. I just yeah, it, it, so, but that's to try thing. to get people it, sweaty. It's too like, it's a uh -huh. lot of math. It's going to yeah. be a lot of math. <laughs> it's a lot of math. If I showed, if I just showed you one portion of the math, what? nobody you, wants to learn that. Yeah, okay. engineer cannabis, do this, do this, engineer cannabis. We talked about this a couple of times. Use one of the clouds and use their AI uh module so the the back end will be already mapped up and you can just maybe go through some certain areas well, so, thing, so people get their get their you, foot in there they you just still gotta there. understand the math when you're going through the interviews when they ask you yeah. something like no, we, we ain't going there. there we just want to put that toe in there engineering <laughs> your father we just want to put that toe yeah, in there just, just want to want to see it in action yeah put the toe no, in there I'll, I'll look into yeah. it and i'll create a video just to yeah. show what basic the basic the basic yeah. of basic yeah, yeah and, 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 and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to subscribe a channel. Yeah, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do on your fact, channel. No, no, I, I just like want opinions. Yeah, but, yeah, fast, fast. But, Yo. but yeah, but once you do that, I've seen people just telling me, nah, that's yeah. not what they want. <laughs> well, they, 
if they tell you that, then they probably not really your audience. Yeah, what what draws people is you can make three hundred k, and I show you the jobs and I show you how to apply and all that. Because I'm going, um, my goal is to show you step by step on my application process of getting a hundred k resumes, all that stuff, the basic, the basic. Then once I get people in there, then I say, okay, this is this. this. this but, is but, but engineering connect cannabis though, that's that's the same type of comments I got when I first started my channel. People were telling me, oh, I mean, people ain't want to hear that, man. People ain't want to see how to how to use the cat command or or how to how to um I, open up a text editor, right. you know, yeah, or I, I make know, changes to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm but, gonna throw up. Yeah, but I was told that mm -hmm. just draw people in first and show them this. You can make right, this. Right. Draw people in. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. Say, okay, you in here. This is math. This yeah. is basic I, math. This is the deep dive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the I basic math. Off with Uber talking about Uber a lot on my channel. You know, oh. they got people already. They are, they have people out here that's more that's better at at talking about Uber topics, and they are happy with it. I wasn't happy talking about Uber, especially since I stopped driving Uber. So I'm more passionate about programming. Mm -hmm. So I started. I'm, I'm going to talk about because I drive. I tell people I drive Uber at night, and I'm 40 <laughs> years old. And how did I get it into tech making? I'm going to use right. that. That's what oh, I'm yeah. doing. That'd, be, oh, yeah. that'd be great content. That'd that's what I'm, I'm, I'm 40. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm 40 years old. I'm driving Uber at night. How oh, can I'm I make long, yeah, but I'm gonna have to, yeah, but I'm gonna have to shut it down. No, yeah, hey, yeah, uh, yeah. hey, put your put your channels in the chat though, seriously. Right. Uh, no so so people can find y'all and everything. Uh so also you savage scientists, definitely put your uh, channel in the chat if you can yep yep there you go i see a uh, uh, website make sure y'all go check out savage scientists he got an awesome channel as well uh my man pbo you. you know shout out to him as well uh and um engineer can I, I can't keep up with the channel right. now i'm just playing right. <laughs> i'm playing right. man but tech was it tech or x aime okay and aime Okay, yeah. yeah, definitely check out their channels. And I appreciate again uh, everybody that came through, you know, salute to all you guys. And hopefully this conversation help you get a little bit more of an understanding of how to get into the tech industry. And if you have any questions, go on hit all of us up. We all have channels. You can definitely contact all of us. I know all these guys. I've interviewed all these guys on my channel. And actually I gotta bring you on again, engineer cannabis. It's been a while. So I wanna I want to bring you in yeah. and talk about, talk about uh, yeah, more I what feel. you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But no, I appreciate it again. Y'all have an awesome day. All right. Thank Peace. You. Peace. All right. Peace out. Peace out. So when I hit the X, I right, was nice talking to you. Yeah, no problem. No problem.